Mid-September marks the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, and though the, although there have been very few major hurricanes so far, more severe storms may still be on their way. In fact, the month of September sees an average of three storms a year. Luckily, meteorologists have an arsenal of powerful tools to help monitor hurricanes, including the GOES series of satellites, a joint effort between NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Joining me now is J- Tom Rankevins to talk with me about the latest satellite launch launched on June 27th. Tom, welcome. Good morning. Tell me a little bit more about the latest satellite and how it helps us forecast hurricanes. Well, the one we just launched at the end of June, uh, we put up, it's a joint effort with NASA and NOAA to build and launch and operate these satellites. And after it's launched, it's put into orbit about 22,000 miles above the equator. We keep one over the Atlantic Ocean to monitor hurricanes, East Coast storms, severe weather, and one over the Pacific Ocean to monitor Pacific storms. You can see here we monitor hurricanes with an image real time every 15 minutes. This is from Hurricane Katrina in 2005 to produce these uh, wonderful loops of satellite imagery that are used by forecasters worldwide. So Tom, is this GOES satellite, now they've been up since 1975, is this just a replacement to an old one or is this a new one that does different stuff? It will eventually be a replacement, but it does a few new things. It does have some better capabilities on board with some sharper resolution. We can really pinpoint down. You can see here imagery from the 60s and 70s wasn't real great when you look at it. Uh, But then uh, going into 2008 hurricane season, which is an image here, you can really see the storms very stable. Every 15 minutes you get a picture. So these new satellites, you can peer down the center of the hurricanes. You can focus on forest fires. You can focus on all sorts of atmospheric parameters. So um, in what the research I've done into hurricanes and and how they see if they're intensifying or not, I know there's something called um, eye wall development, where eye walls develop and then decay and redevelop. Does this this satellite in particular help you to see that better? Uh, Sure. We'll be able to see right down in the eye of the hurricane with with these satellites. Uh, The visible imagery that we get from these storms is, is incredible. Uh, one kilometer resolution, you can see into the hurricanes, and so the eye walls as they develop and decay and, re- and regenerate, we'll be able to see that 24 by 7. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so your favorite thing about this new satellite that it does compared to the last time you launched one? My favorite thing is that it can operate through the night. The old satellites had smaller batteries on board that we actually had to shut them down for a few hours, especially on the first day of fall like this. is a long period of outage overnight. These satellites can work right through, so there's no interruption of data overnight. Oh, and we love our data, we meteorologists. <laughs> we <do. laughs> Tom, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Thank Same you so here. much. Thank you.